Despite INEC's behavior towards us in court, we tendered evidence that can't be denied. Labor Party lawyers expresses. Hear the news in details. As the nation continues to monitor proceedings at the ongoing election petition tribunal, lawyers representing the Labour Party and its presidential candidate, Peter O.B. Grigori, have come out to express optimism in the case they have presented despite the perceived hostility exhibited by the Independent National Electoral Commission. This is your first time of coming across this channel. Do not forget to subscribe. Now, this has become one of the biggest expositions so far. Very, very big exposition, if I can say. Very, very big exposition. The hostility and the aggressiveness and the anger from INEC alone, the frustration from INEC, they were doing everything possible to see if they can, you know, get Labour Party into fight or into war or into a, some kind of aggressive motive. But Labour Party lawyers kept their cool. Yet, they have just presented proper evidence that can't be denied by the INEC, Tinimbu Shetima lawyers and APC lawyers. I keep on going. While addressing a cross-section of journalists, after the petitioners closed their respective cases at the tribunal on Friday, June 23, 2023, senior advocate and lead counsel to the Labour Party, Dr. Levy Uzoku, stated that despite annex hostile behavior towards Obi's legal team, they were able to adequately prove that the polling results used by the electoral umpire in declaring the winner were flawed. The, the buttress his point. The senior advocate stated that during court proceedings, his team was able to present over 18,000 INEC resource sheets that were blurry and unreadable. So, how then was Bola Ahmed Tinimbu declared the president of Nigeria, knowing fully well that there were over 18,088 documents that were blurred? He said, certainly, you don't expect me to be pleased with the conduct of INEC and how it behaved towards us. The conduct of the electoral umpire is now in the public domain, but that notwithstanding, we still made an impressive presentation. There's one fact that cannot be denied, evidence that can never, ever be contented. Blood, ballot, papers in court, 18,088 of them. And this has become a nemesis to the INEC chairman and to those who were involved in rigging this very election. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do your possible best to subscribe. Now, it has come to our very notice that INEC is so frustrated that they do not know where they want to begin from. From delaying the document, the document that Labour Party have been seeking for months, to screaming and shouting to the witnesses that were brought by the Labour Party in court, this is to show you their level of frustration did not stop a very, very focused team. And I can tell you with every honesty that P2B has the most focused, reliable, and strong team that cannot be torn apart. Now remember that the senior advocate of the lead counsel to the Labour Party, Dr. Levy Uzo Uku, stated that despite INEX crazy behaviors and hostile characters towards obese legal team, they were able to present and to adequately prove that the Poland resort used by the electoral umpire in declaring the winner were flawed. Did you see it? That the resort that was used in declaring Bola Ahmed Tinimbu were flawed. All of them, there was a big error, massive rigging, 
massive lies and additional addition additional of extra numbers that were not in the fold. What is the new story? The new story now is that the court has now found out that the result that was used to declare Bola Ahmed Tinubu was derived by Mahmoud himself and some APC agents. And if this thing is not corrected, these errors will eventually play into the lives of every Nigerian. And how does it affect Nigerians? Join me. I'm going to break it down in details. Number one, it is going to affect Nigerian system of running election. That means the highest bidder who has the highest money, who has the highest capacity to bribe its, its way or his way or her way to the sitting position will definitely do what? Become the president of Nigeria. Let's not forget what happened in one of the governors, governorship election that happened around Nigeria, the state of Nigeria, where a woman was declared, I think, in Plateau, if I'm not mistaken. She was declared either in Plateau or in Kogi State. Somebody can please correct that. The governor of the state, because she was able to bribe her way to the top. And somebody have started it. And this is the presidential seat that somebody has started it with. That means to become the Nigerian president, it is no longer by merit. It is no longer by merit. That is why for the fact that it favors you now, does not give you the full guarantee to criticize it tomorrow when it no longer favors you. Remember, what you start supporting now, keep supporting it even though it doesn't favor you. Number two, the system and the democracy of Nigeria will definitely change because what is the meaning of democracy? Democracy is what? The government of the people, for the people, and the what? The people. That means somebody can just come out from nowhere and declare himself the president. We should no longer be a tenor. It will be a, mini, it, it will be a military regime. And anything that has to do with regime shows that it was forcefully collected and forcefully imposed on the people. This is the highlight. So the numbers which Mahmoud Yakubu, the INEC chairman, used in declaring Bola Ahmed Tinubu the president of Nigeria were all flawed, were all lies, were all numbers that cannot be traced. Those who voted the election voted the right person, but Mahmoud decided to get a profitable number to favor his highest bidder. So the third reason is that Nigerian democracy or Nigeria election will not be for sale. It will be by trade and butter. If you are if you are able to pay it just like some Igbo men sell it in Alaba or trade fair or any market around uh, around Nigeria where you have to they, they they have to display the clothes you come you price it if it goes well they sell it for you that is how Nigerian electoral system would definitely end up like so I ask again if you are supporting this thing now are you ready to keep supporting it even though it doesn't favor you I love you guys and please keep supporting the future news peace